Okay, hi everybody, it is me, Bonkai922. Got some first impressions I still haven't uploaded, but I will get them tomorrow night. I will definitely upload those. Um, yeah. I'm noticing a few things. Before I get into 7 Daily Sins, I want to bring this up. Okay, there's two shows. I was going to say three shows, but it's two shows. Two shows from the winter right now that have me go like... Uh, one, case in point, Maria Virgin Witch. I'm not reviewing this shit. Because, frankly, I just ain't fine. So, first impression, which I haven't uploaded yet, I will upload. That's all you're going to get. Because there's one character in here that's just a bitch. And Aldenor is zero. Just putting up an update here on the show. Really fucking stupid. But, but, I will say this. People have dropped this show. I still say the show's a piece of shit this season. But, regardless, I like what's going to happen in the next episode. Going to put Slain in his place. I will also upload that as well tomorrow. Okay, seven early sets. <laughs> This episode. Now, I should mention, this was stated by the Cameron. The guy's name? Cameron? From the J-Room. He put in the J-Room or somewhere other well switch on Facebook that they skipped the fight. Yes, they did. Okay. They skipped Galther versus Threader. So instead of showing Galther versus Threader, they basically have... Galther, by the way, this is for the anime only watchers. Sorry I said that, but they do skip something here. And to be honest with you, I'm not upset like I should be about this. Because the thing about it is, is that that fight was very short. Very short, very short. I don't even think, I think it lasted maybe one chapter? Half a chapter? I don't think it lasted very long. So, the only significance of that fight is that what com comes from after it, with what goes on with Threader. But I don't think it's a big deal. So, instead of that, we just basically have Galther going straight to where the action is, which is Dreyfus, Helbram, Gil Thunder, and Jericho having a little squabble against Hauser and Gila. Now, I have to say, A1 Pictures, stand up and give yourself a nice round of applause because they did a very good job with the thing with Dreyfus and um, Gautham. I really like that. That whole dream sequence, wow. That was creepy as fuck. That was so fucking creepy and scary and just downright terrifying what they showed with the dream sequence with Dreyfus and, you know, his brother. He killed his brother, you know, that's basically what that was. And that whole scene, fantastic. And another fantastic scene, when Hellbram got the snot out of him. Because then King came in and he basically just threw him to the ground. Uh, by the way, I do not like Hellbrand when he was in that form of that bearded fuck. I really did not like him there. He was a douchebag. I like him better than the own form, which we saw in this episode, the fairy form. Now, which is his true form. Um, aside from the Galther thing, I really have to say, I give this a 5 out of 5. I thought this was done very well. Um, nothing really to complain here. Now, here's the thing, though. This is episode 18. And... Six more. Now, I'm gonna come on a limb here. They're not finishing this. And if they are finishing it, it's gonna, they're gonna have to squeeze the fuck out of a lot. They really will have to. They will... You're talking about a lot of condensing. Um, I mean, they have also in this episode where Hawk 
gets transported to that place. I'm not going to say where that thing is, where Hawk is at. But that, I guess, as we go along, I guess this could be finished in six episodes, but it's going to be really condensed. And I just don't see it happening. So what might happen is... Because here's the thing, the final fight is long. It's pretty long. Like, seriously, it's pretty long. It is. It's a very long fight. So, I don't see them finishing it in six episodes. So, what might happen is, there might be this part where they just stop. And they just conclude it in for the next season. You know, but other than that, as far as this episode is concerned, pretty damn good. Five out of five. Like the Dreyfus thing, Galther, that whole thing set up was fucking amazing. I even though they stepped out there in Threader, I still thought that this was a good episode. Gotta give it a five out of five. Especially the thing with King and Helper. Now this is gonna get really interesting next week with this fight. And yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta add about this episode. Bar none, very good episode. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to, when it comes to the final, you know, when this series is over, when this anime season's over, of ties of F7 only since, because here's the thing, like I said, I can't see them finishing this whole arc in six episodes. I don't see it, because the only way they can do that is if they condense the fuck out of it, meaning they're going to cut things out. And frankly, I really don't want to see that. Because I know Galther and Threader, some people would want to have seen that. And if they did cut it out, but it wasn't that important, it was short, you know. Eh, heads or tails, you know. Either way. But I hope they don't they don't really take too many shortcuts uh going forward with the final parts of this season of Seven Sins. So yeah. We'll see, we'll see. Bonka 922. See you guys later. And help him to get that work. Yeah, you don't you don't fuck with King's Woman. You know. You just don't. You just don't, man. That's his sweetheart. Diane is 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 amazing. Why why would you do that, Hellbrand? You fairy fuck. <laughs> but until then, I'm Bonka 922. I'll see you guys later.